What is self-esteem and self-confidence? And also know the difference and improve yourself today. Hi, it's John here from Mindset Universe. And in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence. And also tell you where you can go to find out a great way to improve them both. And very quickly, to be the first to see all my latest videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification. Now there's some fantastic content and also some free guides coming your way. So don't take the chance of missing out. So what is self-esteem and self-confidence? I mean, maybe you're like I was and thought that esteem and self-confidence were exactly the same. Or perhaps you're having a laugh at the moment thinking, how could I be so silly to not even know the difference? I mean, either way, just by watching this video, you're building up your self-esteem and your self-confidence. So really, it's all good. So self-esteem. Firstly, a couple of questions for you. Do you feel good about yourself? And do you generally see the universe as a friendly place? If you can answer any of these questions quite positively, then I would say you have a good amount of self-esteem. I mean, that's not to say you can't increase your level of esteem and confidence, but it definitely sounds like you're on the right track. Self-esteem is developed from your experiences, your upbringing, and also what situations you found yourself in. Now these all combine to shape the way you look at yourself and how you feel about the world around you. So what can you do if you couldn't answer those two questions positively? Well, first of all, do not panic, you're not alone. And there's some great activities you can do to increase your self-esteem. Before we go into more specifics, and I tell you where you can find out about these great activities to increase your self-esteem, let's introduce the term self-confidence. Now, self-confidence is very often closely linked to self-esteem, and that's probably how it gets a bit confusing. If you do have a high level of self-esteem, then in many ways you will feel self-confident in performing certain tasks and also everyday activities that are familiar to you. Now, self-confidence can be thought of as a two-part process. One part of this process is how someone thinks about themselves and also others. I mean, this might sound familiar, so you know, as we talked about with self-esteem before. The second part of this process is how that person functions with activities or tasks. Now, this is despite the uncertainties or challenges that might become apparent with any new experiences that come from those actions. So in short, you could have a high level of self-esteem, but in some circumstances, very low self-confidence. Now, this is a bit embarrassing, but for me, self-confidence was a big issue when I was speaking to large audiences. Now, even though I used to get fairly good feedback after public speaking, I can still remember feeling terrified during work presentations, and thinking how unconfident I was and I felt at the time. But the good news is you can build up your self-confidence in much the same way as your self-esteem, and they will tend to complement each other when you practice certain activities. So do you want to find out what some of these great activities are? If you check out the link in the video description below, and you'll find the full article on the Mindset Universe website now the self-esteem superpower is my personal favorite and it when i first discovered it it surprised me how simple this technique actually is so that's the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence i'd love to know if this helps you at all and also what you think of the full article on the website let us all know in the comments below the video thanks for watching and as always try not to worry when you don't have to